guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would film a testing out KKW Beauty kind of video. I recently purchased a couple of their goods. I bought their, um, I bought her contour sticks. I bought two contour sticks and I bought two of her new lipsticks, which I really wanted to try. Um, because honestly her lipsticks look really, really cute. And to be honest, I think these things were really expensive. Like all four of these things literally cost me like $80, which... It was really expensive in my opinion, but um, you know, I just wanted to try to see if the hype was real or not. Oh, and I also have other couple of goods that I wanted to test. One being the Butter Bronzer by Physician Formula and the Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter. So, um, in this video, I'm basically going to test these products out and you guys can see my reaction to it. And this is also kind of like an updated makeup routine because I have a couple of products that I've been using which I've really been loving. And yeah, so if you want to know my reaction to these new products that I'm testing and you kind of want to see my new updated routine, then please keep on watching. Alright, so first things first, I'm using this No Pore Bloom Primer. I've been using this for a pretty long time and so far I've really been loving it. I just rub it between my fingers and I basically put it right where my pores are the biggest. So my cheeks, especially my nose area and like right here and my forehead this is where my pores are the biggest. Alright, so after I've applied on my primer, I'm going to go in with my foundation. I recently started using this new foundation, which Casey and I both got, and really, and literally this foundation has been so amazing. It's literally lasted through raves, through concerts, um, honestly, like the whole day at the beach. It's pretty water resistant, and it's really, really great, and it's one of the only foundations that I've found that actually provides decent coverage and doesn't feel like super, super heavy on your skin, and I can use like multiple pumps. Um, with, and the foundation that I'm using is the Lancome Tent Idol Foundation. Yeah, I'm the shade 270. I do two pumps on the back of my hand. And then I go in with my finger. And I just dot it all over. Alright, so now that I basically like dotted it all over my face, I'm going to go in with my damp beauty sponge. And I'm just going to boop, boop, boop. Alright, so once the foundation's blended, I still have a couple of spots. And so I'm going to be going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Neutral. This is actually a new shade I've never tried before. I used to use Light Medium, but that's like a little bit too pink for me. So, and Light Sand is like too light for me, so I thought I'd try Light Neutral. So, I do love the formula though, that's for sure. I guess that looks okay. Not too bad. Using my Beauty Blender, I'm just blending that in to my skin. To cover up all the rest of my spots, like I have a little bit of discoloration on my chin, I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I'm just going to be dotting this on certain areas wherever I need more coverage. So now I'm going to be trying the KKW Beauty Contour Sticks. I have these shades number one and number two. Um, honestly, I look super pale right now, but I got a tan, so I'm going to try using number two on like this area and like my nose I'll use number one honestly guys I don't really know how to use contour sticks this is the first time I've ever done so so yeah wish me luck so here oh first impressions this is super creamy super easy to slide on So now I'm going to go in with my beauty sponge and I'm just going to like blend this in. So you guys, I kind of really like it. It's like pretty natural in my opinion. I don't think like this contour is really harsh. It's like super blendable. Like I blended one side and you can like see the shadow and it's like buildable. Mmm, I dig. Alright. Contour sticks. I give it a plus, but to be honest, I think I still prefer powder. I'm going to be setting my whole face first with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I'm using the shade Sandstorm. I'm just going to have the big powder brush and boop, 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 everywhere. So after I finish setting the face, I'm going to be going in on top of this contour with the Physician Formula Bronzer. And it's in the shade Bronzer. So let's see how this looks. Okay, so it comes with like a mini brush. Don't use that. Ooh, it smells like coconut. 
So I'm going to be using this Morphe R2 brush and just go in here. Wow. Do you see that difference, guys? This face is immediately more bronzed. Mm-hmm. Yes. This bronzer is nice. Okay. Bronzer is done. I think it looks pretty good. I look bronzed. Yes. Yes, I do. And then after bronzer, we're going to use blush. So for blush, I'm using the NARS Orgasm Blush. And this is honestly just like classic fave. So after I'm done with blush, I honestly typically do highlight last, so I'm going to be doing brows first. So for brows, I use three different products. I know, crazy, right? So I use a brow pencil. This is just from ColourPop. And I also use the Anastasia Dip Brow and the um, pencil. I use them together. So, and they're both in medium brown. So I start off with the Anastasia Dip Brow. And I just use an angle liner brush which you guys have seen this routine before, and I just sort of follow the shape of my brows. Alright, so now that I use the dip brow to kind of like give them the shape that I want, I pretty much use the powder to go over on top of it because I like the finish of the powder. I go in with the darker uh, part of the powder on, my, on the outside, and I go in with the lighter part on the inside. Just dip in with literally the same brush. I just go over that. So typically for my brows, I like the ends a little bit sharper and I clean up the beginning. So I use a spoolie for the beginning of my brow and I just sort of like brush it through. Like that. So that's my brows done. And then for my brows, I typically like to carve them out at the very, um, only on the bottom parts though. So I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And I also use a another tiny angled liner brush. So now that my brows are done, I'm going to be moving into my eye look. So for eyelids, I typically don't prime them. I just put like whatever like foundation that I had originally like left on my beauty sponge. And I just sort of like put that over my eye. So, um, for my eye look today, I'm going to be going in with something pretty simple and like natural smoky, I guess, which is what I always do. Um, I'm going to be using the Morphe 25B palette. This is their like old style when they first like launched it and I still have it. Alright guys, so I just finished my eye look and it's like a simple kind of like mm, smoky purple with a little bit of shine in the center. Going in with my Stila liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to do a little wing. After the wing, I'm going to be going in with the uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. But before I do that, I'm going to first curl my lashes because I will just curl my lashes. So. And then I'm also going to do a so now that I finished my mascara on the bottom and my top lashes, I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Pencil in the color Rockstar. I typically use a purple liner for under my eyes because purple makes the eyes pop. So I'm using a beauty blender and I'm dragging it, dragging like my skin down and then going like that. And now I'm going to be going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And because I am a super oily gal, I'm literally just dipping my beauty blender in here. And I'm going to be pressing it along here on my forehead. Not baking, just like a powder to set everything. And then I'm just using a duster brush to just kind of dust whatever excess is on my skin. Um, now I'm going to be applying on lashes, and I'm using lashes from the Makeup Shack, and these are in the uh, style Dubai. I really love these lashes. These are honestly my recent go-to lashes. Like, I wear them all the time. The difference, guys. The difference. Literally, I love lashes. Alright, guys, so now that I've applied on my lashes... The next thing that I'm going to be doing is actually going in 
to my Fenty Beauty um, Invisimat powder. This powder is honestly super good. It's seriously so great for literally just like destroying your pores. Okay, not destroying your pores, but like making them invisible and like just smoothing out everything. It's so great. I've never had anything like it. So I typically just apply it on top of where I'm most porous. So everywhere. <laughs> but I'm going to do highlight now. And so the highlight I'm going to be using is the new, not new, but I haven't tried it yet. This is the Ofra Rodeo Highlight, R Rodeo Highlight, Rodeo Drive Highlighter. Looks like this. It's like a light champagne gold kind of color. And to be honest, first impression of this, it feels kind of cheap. It's pretty light, not that heavy. I think the Fenty um, Kilowatt Highlighters, blah, 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 Kilowatt Highlighters, Highlighters are really great because they like feel kind of heavy too and it's like in sturdy packaging. This feels a little, little cheap, okay, not gonna lie. And I'm gonna be going in with the Morphe M510 brush. Just a little. Let's see. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Wait. Do you guys see this? Damn! Okay, okay. did that wait this looks hella bomb okay maybe I shouldn't be highlighting up there cuz y'all can see my texture but whoa whoa look at my highlight how blinding is it on a scale of 1 to 10 oh, look at the camera one <laughs> okay it's like, it? it's like bro it's so blinding oh bitch okay so now I'm gonna go in with this little brush and I'm basically gonna be doing this on my brow bone. Brow bone. My brow bone. Gotta make that brow bone pop. You know what I mean? Ooh, I want to see where this looks. Ooh. Like I'm going to use the KKW Beauty um, lipsticks. So I bought Nude One and Nude Three. Wait, what am, what am I doing? Oh, here. Um. Can you see that? Nude one and nude three? Yeah. Going with nude three, not using a lip liner because your girl lazy. So. It's new. Whoa. It's cute. I'm going to do a little bit of nude one in the center. Hey, look. Okay, so last step. I'm going to be spraying myself. I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I recently got this at the Morphe store here in San Jose. And I'm gonna do a little. This is the completed look using the new products. So definitely, definitely, I love the highlighter. It is super popping. The bronzer I think was also really nice, super natural. I think the contour sticks, in my opinion, they were buildable, but maybe I should have gotten a shade darker because I hate the fact that I have to build up like contour because I don't want to know that I'm putting more shit on my face so maybe next time I'll go with like a darker color but I know like in the winter I'm gonna be like paler anyway so yeah overall all the products I would definitely approve of them and give them a thumbs up in my opinion the KKW Beauty sticks um, oh I really really love the lip though the KKW Beauty li uh, lipstick it is super cute I honestly really love it. I would definitely repurchase. And I know that it's around like $18, which I know it's expensive, but honestly, like, y'all, I'm a broke college kid, so $18 for lipstick be expensive, okay? But I know that comparables like MAC lipsticks, MAC lipsticks are, blah, 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 MAC lipsticks are also like $18, so I know it's like average on the lipstick price. But yeah, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and um, be sure to stay tuned for my next videos that are coming soon. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> it's cold out, take my coat now.